Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Today we are back again with another Top 100 Soccer Cards of the Week uh, going on over to the Fanatics Collect auction site per usual. Before we do that, if you do enjoy these videos, generally speaking, I would appreciate a like. It would help me, help the channel. Would be very kind of you. Uh, if you don't want to leave a like, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on with the video just the same. So let's go ahead and head on over. This week, starting at $120, which is uh, yeah, a bit better than the last couple weeks, seemingly a better week top to bottom. Uh, we will go through, yeah, I mean, in terms of total submissions, typically there's about four or five pages. This week there was six, so it's a little bit more full. Uh, if we go ahead and get started here, nothing really too much to talk about in this row. Uh, I guess nice to see the equalizers up here for Ronaldo, because there was a Messi up here uh, a couple weeks ago, so just, you know, interesting to see both of them sort of go. Uh, we have a Jude Bellingham at Sapphire. We also have this Doku PSA 10 from Stadium Club out of 25. Uh, above that, this is a DD SGC 2. This was a, an okay sale, I would say. Uh, I bought an SGC 1 recently that went for like 50 to 60, but it had a pretty bad corner. So, you know, uh, comparatively, this seemingly makes sense to me. There was a full set of this that went last night, and there's another one later we'll see. Kamavinga out of 75 Merlin. We have an R9 2004 Mega Cracks. This goes for 140, which comparatively, we saw the pop one of two PSA 10 go for like seven to 800 last week or a couple weeks ago. So, uh, you know, a nice, uh, step down in terms of multiplier. A random one of one up here. We have a Kaboom Havertz PSA 9 going for 150. A Francesco Totti pop one of two just one higher going for 150. Uh, interested if that's pop. I mean, I, I think PWCC or Fanatics Collect is actually really good at updating the pops nowadays. Um, but I wouldn't feel great at least for this being a pop one of two just one higher forever considering the other ones have gem pretty well comparatively. So if there's ever another you know, big submission, I would assume that you could see some high grades there, but 96 Estrellas of R9, PSA 8 goes for 150. We have a Pele, well, more so Brazilian team photo from 59 Heinerle, PSA 3 for 150. Uh, this Arteta from 2001, PSA 9 gets a pretty good number. I'm not certain if this is his rookie or not. I really haven't seen too many of his cards in general to be able to have something to compare to, but uh, for now, I'll trust PWCC. If, uh, if anyone knows otherwise, let me know. A fairly common DC Thompson from 1926 of Dixie Dean and a four goes for 156. Uh, we got a Pulisic out of 10 auto going for 162. A Sicker Verlag Beckenbauer PSA 5 goes for 162. You can find these in high grade fairly frequently, at least as of late. It sort of slowed down a bit, but there was sort of a flood of them for a while. Lost this one, 2019 Finest Erling Holland. I I'm just going to uh, throw low ball bids on stuff. If some things go cheap enough, I will happily add them. Uh, this being one of them, I mean, I don't know what I had on it, but these Hollands have gotten pretty cheap. Holland in general has gotten pretty cheap, and I do like the finest, especially if you could get a refractor uh, for a pretty low price. That wouldn't be too bad, at least from my estimation. Van Nistelrooy 97, PSA 6 goes for 168. This is the first one we looked up just because I thought that this was a generally good sale and uh, seems to be so. Seemingly up a good bit. The last PSA 6 was 120, and before that, I mean, a PSA 7 last year was going for 103. So PSA 7's up about double. This is at least compared up about double as well over the last year which is pretty impressive um, we have a Starosta here of Angel Labruna PSA 1 uh, I sort of looked this up there weren't any comps though you could sort of look at his other items and compare to that typically his highest sales are like four or five hundred at least on PWCC and what you can find in terms of sales comps it, a pretty early issue as well it also has a Fangio in there which I've seen before and is uh, pretty notable but uh, a nice looking one as well Goes for 168. We have an out of 25 Stadium Club Chrome Erling Holland PSA 10 going for 174. Next to a Frankie De Jong PSA 9. Um, you know, I, maybe I'm out of the loop, but that seemed like a, a pretty good sale to me. I, you know, Frankie De Jong PSA 9. That assumes a 10 would be like, you know, 500 bucks, maybe 600 if it's getting a crazy grading premium. I don't know. Um, but uh, it seems high to me at least. We then have a Ronaldinho 2004 PSA 9 going for 174. Really like this card personally. Um, you know, I, I might have one raw or something, but definitely not a PSA 9. Uh, they don't look great in scans, but they I guess they look a little better in person. Um, definitely not a PMG or anything of the sort. It just has a color background. That's okay. That can be enough. But uh, I think they're pretty good looking, and uh, at least for Ronaldinho early stuff. Now the embossing sort of... Uh, a little off, which I, I don't think that's really accounted for in the grade, but is a, a little off-putting when you go and look at it. But nonetheless, uh, really like that card in general. And a PSA 9, definitely not easy considering the grading scarcity. Top 1 of 14, I guess there's a decent amount, but, uh, you know, 
only two tens, not uh, not the easiest. Uh, we got a Magna Cristiano Ronaldo. I really like the Magnas, but uh, I felt like this was a pretty good price. Goes for 180. PSA 10 would then be like five six hundred, you would assume, and that to me is a pretty good price on what is a Revolution out of 49 parallel. But next to it, I guess you have a 2006 World Cup Messi first World Cup card. Which would you rather have? I I don't know. Maybe it depends on what you prefer, who you prefer, all that jazz. But uh, yeah, I guess in comparison, I, I wouldn't mind the Ronaldo. Above that, Erling Holland sticker of him doing his initials. We have a PSA 9 Lionel Messi Champions of Europe for 186. And then we have a Moesir SGC 4 from the, it says 1958 Tupanaba. This is really, I think, 60, maybe, maybe 59, 60. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on it, but uh, it's definitely not 58, 59. And congrats to the guy that got this. Uh, I was sort of talking to him and he's trying to put together the set and he was missing this one, super high grade as well and I was able to snag it, so that's good stuff. And then in this row, I found this to be a really interesting one in the sense of, I think it sort of pits a lot of the things that modern struggles with against each other, in the sense that there are so many different types of cards, right? I mean, we're talking about a, you know, semi-star prospect at the moment, Phil Foden, one of the better prospects, I would say, generally. Uh, a one-of-one, one, but a relatively random one-of-one. One. I mean, 2022 select black one-of-one, one, but it's a insert. Um, or you could have one of the most notable cards of one of the most notable prospects, but it's a fairly common card, or you could have a kaboom of a player that was, you know, hyped at one point, but has fallen off greatly since. And, uh, which one would you rather have? I, I, I would guess most people would pick the Phil Foden simply because it is a one of one, which I understand. Um, but at the same time, I, I do sort of wonder if that is the right choice me personally, I, I don't really have a choice. I'm not going to give you one. I, I don't think I'd take any of them, but I, I guess if you gave me them, if I had to keep one forever, I, I guess I'd just take the Holland, if I'm being honest. It's a notable card. It's something I, I'm probably not going to buy any bigger ones of, so if I could just have it, then I would. Beyond that, Ansu Fati PSA 10 goes for 204. Next to it, Bakayo Saka PSA 9. Now, I know there's a little bit of a grading difference here, 9 versus 10, but I found this interesting that they are nearly the same. You know, still some Ansu Fati guys out there. Uh, I respect the willing to stick with a player uh, but I do wonder if it's the right decision as uh, not really seen a whole lot as of late and now you have Luminium all sort of the new Spanish kid so uh, you know taking a back seat certainly uh, beyond that we have a PSA 10 2017 top scrum this will always sort of be something interesting to keep an eye on like which one's performing better because at this point they are basically the same 2017 top scrum and Bappe and 2019 top scrum Bundesliga Erling Holland. Uh, going for nearly the same price, same grade, all that good stuff. Vinny Jr. PSA 8 goes for 216. Above that, we also have an SGC 8 of Sandor Kosick. SGC Pop 1 of 1, none higher, goes for 222, which, you know, if you're set collecting, feels like a pretty good price, but uh, at the same time, obviously, it, it's a decent price for not the biggest of big stars. Like, you'll see uh, Pushkas de Stefano go for nearly the same price, but it typically in, like, you know, maybe twos threes something of the sort uh instead you're paying the same price for an eight of a lesser star but you know if you're collecting a set i love the set i think it looks so so good and an eight is such a crazy grade 2022 kobe manu going for 228 and then 10 10 grade uh, above that in this row you know again probably a, a weird row and one where i'd take a kaboom which typically isn't the case but uh, Lewandowski psa 10 goes for 228 gonna take a peek at that pricing just because i was interested i wanted to look up one of the kabooms so we looked up that one uh beyond that though i mean a top's finest messy or a top's now messy <laughs> mls card going for 234 i don't care if it's a black label or not uh tops now are pretty easy to get black labels on comparatively to other cards so that to me is pretty egregious now i know i you don't see many pristine black label messies in general so i guess there's some scarcity to that but that's just terrible um but you know <laughs> compared to the laminia mall psa 10 going for this much who knows um you know i know compared to some other prospects like you could say oh well this laminia mall is nearly the same price as the holland nearly the same price as these mape that already is crazy enough like these cards have been here forever and are sort of staples this mega cracks is brand new like brand spanking new and you can get this in spain easy like you can get this easy and cheap in spain so the only difference is tons of these aren't graded right tons of these are graded and same here so to me this is sort of showing that this is overpriced which is obvious because well the mean mall just came on the scene won a euro and everyone's excited but uh you know it's big money for a PSA 10 base just created. Beyond that, Garnacho 25 of 25 goes for 234. Hyungman Sun Patch Auto Booklet goes for 240. We have a Rodrigo, again, kind of interesting the Rodrigo going for more than the Vinny. Again, great off, but, you know, just uh, comparing the cards at least. 
Uh, we have an Isak on card, Tops Chrome X Real Sociedad going for 252. He's doing pretty good in the Prem, so, uh, you know, decent price on that and out of five. We have a Zamora from 1925 Dolar. Want to take a look at this because there was actually a comp on it. Um, uh, we didn't look at the Lewandowski, so I guess we'll do that now. Just, you know, talking in terms of comps, this Lewandowski goes for 228. Last one was 165, so sort of up. But uh, if you go back and look through these comps, they're sort of just everywhere, to be honest. 180, 228, 312, 280. So seemingly in the range, but the range is quite wide uh, in regard to the Dolar Zamora. Last PSA 1 actually went recently, just a month and a half ago, and looked a lot worse. And this did 222, and this one does 252. So I think I'd rather be the buyer of the second one, but, you know, you don't have that luxury of knowing there's a second one when the first one comes up. And uh, yeah, they still do relatively similar prices for the same grade. So we have a 2020 Goncalo Ramos out of 50. Merlin, PSA 10, going for 264. A PSA 8, 2005, 71 Bis Messi for 264 as well. Got another caustic here from 1970, World Cup Panini sticker, PSA 5 with the red and blue back, the rare variant going for 264. Lamina Mall Auto up here for 276, along with a Martin Odegaard PSA 10 manga. We will be looking up a manga here in a second, so that's uh, gonna be fun. Ronaldinho PSA 9 for 276. We have a Lamina Mall Auto for 288. This row, again, just a week of weird rows, but you can take your choice of the auto. One of them's fake, the other two are real, but they're both sticker. I think in this scenario, I'd take the Henri. Post-playing career sticker auto, I'd still take it uh, in comparison. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you might be able to convince me into the Luminium Mall, despite my better judgment. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm always impressed by the price on these SJ 2020 stickers. I mean, I know it's PSA 10, but, like, they're pretty common, and uh, I see them a lot in these weeklies, but they always do good numbers. It does look good, I will say that much. Um, PSA 7 of this Xavi goes for 300, which is probably fair. I think an 8 recently went for about 6-ish, which, you know, um, by comparison, all the ratios, all that fun stuff, makes sense. A leaf of PSA 3, Garincha, goes for 312. A pretty good price, I would say. I mean, there was a 7, notably, that went really low for, like, 800 or something. So a 3 at 300 is pretty good. Uh, but there are some cards where the multiples are sort of there and there are other cards where there aren't i would say that this is the type of card that there really isn't the standard multiple in terms of grading difference but just interesting to look into that stuff uh beyond that 2022 manga pool of six so this is the one we're looking up i've never looked one of these up until today so 348 on this psa 10 and to my surprise there was only 15 sales which you know i know that this is like a case hit from prism and you know highly sought after all that jazz I've never really been all that into it, because honestly, at 350 you can buy good Pulisic rookies. You can buy some of the best of the best cards for other U.S. players for that price. So I'm not going to buy just a random six-year case hit. You know, I, I like them. I say I like them. I mean, I like them from the sense that it's a prism case hit and kind of cool. Um, but at the same time, you know, this isn't like a pose that actually happened or anything. This is just like a artist creation. It's a caricature. And to me, I, I don't really like them that much, but they have held, which is uh, impressive. I mean, 350, that's actually up from the low of 270. And uh, before that, I mean, even when they came out and started getting graded in PSA 10, they were like 350, 400. So really not a whole lot going on there, which I find to be surprising. 1962 Saravan PSA 2 goes here for 372. We have a Marar Sprint Pele PSA 3 that goes for 372 as well. And a Garnacho out of 23 optic contenders 408 on this Vinny out of 10 i feel like we've seen this go before i could be wrong but i do think that that just also is kind of a low price i guess um but i do understand that in general Vinny isn't really loved and it does make sense from the sense that he is sort of a villain to some and he, he just antagonizes other fans now i know he has the the racist stuff that goes against him i'm not saying that that's right obviously it's not but when you antagonize other fans they're probably not going to want to buy your cards. That's just sort of the give and the take with it, right? Um, part of the reason I feel like Messi is so beloved is because he was never really a villain. Like, he might have beat you, but he's not going to talk shit and, you know, um, do some crazy celebration that is uh, going to enrage the fans against him. Uh, meanwhile, Vinny, you know, sort of plays into that role. I like it personally. I think that having those types of guys makes the sport fun, uh, but I don't think it makes for the best prices. And maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know. But not a 10 gold auto first World Cup prism for one of the bigger prospects of the time. Doesn't feel crazy. 
68 FHER Pele in a 2 goes for 408. This OMB Garencha from 57 goes for 408. I did not see this. I might have taken a stab at it, but uh, there was a 3 recently that went for 800 to 900, which was a really low sale. And I think that that sort of uh, pushed these down a good bit. So this goes for 408 here. Above that, 1970 Editor Saravan PSA 5 Pele goes for 432 with an IPL sticker. PSA 8 Mega Cracks Ronaldo goes for 444. Wanted to look this up because we don't see it too, too often. So, uh, I mean, compared to last sale, seems kind of cheap. Uh, last sale was a SGC 7 that went for 306. Before that, an SGC 7 that went for 550. Uh, and then a PSA 9 that went for 1100. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's one that sells, you know, once a month, once every couple months, maybe. Uh, and in super high grade, not easy. There was one here raw on eBay for 31 bucks, but that's pretty beat. Um, but I do like this one more, uh, at least compared to, like, the SP Authentic and the Upper Deck Ronaldos. I'd rather have this because there's so much going on in those sets. There's so many base cards. There's so many numbered cards. And this is just sort of, you know, in line with his original Mega Cracks and is relatively affordable. Uh, in the sense that a PSA 8 super high grade, these are not easy to grade with all the colors. So, uh, Laser Killian Mbappe goes for 480. Above that, an RVP goes for 480 from Flawless out of 25. We also have a PSA 2 of this Maradona, and I sort of went in. I'm not sure why this doesn't get like a miscut or an OC designation or something like that. Um, but when you go and look at it, um, I guess seemingly the back uh, seems removed, maybe. Um, but when you look at the front, man, the, the centering is brutal. Whatever this cut is, is tough because, I mean, obviously it's off right to left se severely, uh, top to bottom, even off a bit as well. Um, but you also have this border up here is really thin on the left and really, I mean, not thick, but it's much thicker on the bottom and sort of the same thing over here. This is relatively thin and then at the bottom, it's super wide. So at least from my perspective, you sort of have it going out this way. It's almost like a trapezoid of sorts uh, on a small scale. And yeah, I think that sort of plays into it. I do think that actually, I mean, a PSA 2 at 480 is not a crazy price. Um, maybe it accounts a bit for the uh, off-centered nature, but it also has decent print, decent colors, which I think should be considered. 492 on this Pele from 2021 Mosaic Road of the World Cup Auto. We have a 1958 Roto Press. This is a, I'm not actually sure in regard to what the item itself is, but it has a team photo on it and it goes for 492 and a PSA 4. I looked at the back, it was blank, so... Yeah, I don't know. Oversized blank back kind of seemed like a postcard, but not. So I'm confused. If anyone has any info, let me know. Would appreciate it. Uh, this orange ice messy goes for 516. I looked up past sales and there was only one for a nine that went for 740. So comparatively, uh, seems like a decent sale uh, in regard to having a BGS 8 compared to a PSA 9. Then we have this R9 that went for 516, a really high price. It felt strong when I initially saw it, but then I went and looked up comps and it definitely was. So this one was 516. The last one was just three, four months ago, went for 312. Um, so, you know, a nice little 60% boost, 70% boost, something like that. Um, but yeah, uh, super, super high jump there. This one is a bit better centered i will give it that probably has better eye appeal than a five but uh yeah i mean even before that last year 325 last time we can find a psa 5 sale this high you basically have to go all the way back to 2022 i can't really find any comps here but back in 2022 it was high enough to be 516 uh but haven't seen those prices since then so pretty good signs there we have an sp authentic cristiano ronaldo out of 500 flashback bgs9 that went for 540 uh i did take a peek at that there it is um last one with raw did 302 so Good price compared to that. I would say same thing here. Uh, if you do go back a little bit further, though, there was an SEC 9 that went for 320 Although, when you say 9 and then I see edges like that, I'm sort of wondering. But uh, nonetheless, seems like an okay price, a fair price, maybe a good price if you're the buyer. But I do think that that's interesting in these SP Authentic sets. A lot of people pay similar pricing for the base cards as some of the numbered cards at times. And I think that that's probably where I'd go. I'd lean more towards the number if given the opportunity. And then next year we have this messy PSA 6, which went for $6.90. Um, yeah, this was one that sort of just left me scratching my head. I don't know. Um, to be fair, there were basically no middle range messies in this auction. So maybe someone just wanted one and didn't have really any other options at the time. It was just going after it. Um, but these typically would go for like, you know, $250, $350 on, on a good day. Um, and a 6, this one goes for nearly $700. And something I found interesting, I'm not going to compare back to comps because I basically know comps. I know what they go for. Um, but 
just sort of looking at messy stuff in general, something I found notable is the amount of best offers, fixed price stuff selling on eBay. Uh, is just generally a good way to get a gauge in terms of if people are willing to stretch or go out there and find it. If people are just willing to go out there and pay the number people are asking, right? Um, I felt like there was a time, you know, definitely during the, the downslope of the market where so many people were just willing to auction. I want to auction, I want to auction, because people wanted to sell. And so when that happens, you see a lot more auctions than best offers buy and out. But when people want to buy, you see a lot more bins or, you know, best offers, whatever the case may be. And that seemingly is going on here. Um, there was a lot of messies that went yesterday, a lot from the same seller as well, but I mean, still good prices on them. It's not like he was getting, I mean, these are actually like really good prices, I would say. A 5.5 five going for 300, pretty good price. I've seen sometimes like sevens or even eights go that low. Um, and then, you know, you kind of look around, there's just a lot of best offers. And if I went back in time, this wouldn't really be the case, but this month there have been a lot. And, you know, I felt it was uh, at least worthy of note. And, uh, you know, the sale was worthy of being talked about because it was just a crazy sale. Uh, out of 23, Orange Ice Victor Ozerman PSA 10 goes for 750. Beyond that, we have a Watsi Ronaldinho PSA 9 that goes for 750 as well. We then have a 94 foot Zidane that goes for 750. A pretty good price for Zidane. I think this is third year foot. Um, but if you are someone putting together the run, you know, just a uh, pop one of one two higher, so seemingly not easy. Although, you know, I do think later careers are done. Not that this is late, it's still early, but like beyond rookie year, there isn't as much of a large percent submitted. Um, so that is going to be something worth note, but I don't think it's a crazy price. But I do wonder sometimes, like, is this a sticker that just goes under the radar on eBay? Like, would some Zinedine Zidane guy really, or a couple of them, really go to 750 on eBay for this? I don't know. I think it might go under the radar, but on PWCC, I feel like it probably gets a better number. Um, this Kaka PSA 6, I've always been impressed by how Kaka's held up. Um, just generally speaking, because it's not really a player I hear talked about too much, but it is a pretty rare rookie uh, comparatively to most. So pop one to six five higher in a PSA six is you know kind of supporting that point. Uh, in regard to prior sales, there was a PSA eight recently that went for forty three hundred. I would say one of these two is either too high or too low. So uh, typically, well, although I will say I guess in this scenario you have a lot less items. So I guess hopping from a six to an eight is much more meaningful. Um, but typically from a six to an eight, you're going to have like a doubling in price, maybe a tripling in price. Uh, here, this is like a five X, which could go to the grading scarcity as well. It's that's worthy of note, but, uh, just something I was sort of seeing. Um, when we look beyond that, some past sales, a seven did go for 2,200. So compared to that, it seems down, uh, last six did 1100 last year as well. So while a lot of things seemingly are sort of hitting bottoms and ticking back up, there are other ones that really haven't found their bottom yet, at least so it seems. Uh, there was, I mean, I guess even a 6 in 2022 that did 1,050. So it's down still like 20% since 2022 or last year, depending on which mark you want to go from. Uh, but still, it seems like an okay sale to me at least. These have been doing really good. Uh, there was a PSA 4 Uvezela 58 Bremer Fockring that went for, I think it was a couple thousand recently. This 3 goes for nearly a thousand. And, uh, you know, not the <laughs> not the most flattering of photos, but uh, Rookie Uvezela, and obviously one that in decent grade is seemingly pretty uh, sought after. It gets 960 there. This Holland 2019 Tops On Demand Match Attacks. I think I've only seen this on Twitter. Uh, they're sort of like a a collection of people on Twitter that sort of tout this as one of the best Hollands, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know if it's because it's his first ever... I don't, I don't know what... There's some narrative around it, and you'll sort of see that in terms of the comps that we go and look at. So back in the day in 2020, a PSA 10 of this was going for 102 bucks. Uh, a lot of them went on auction, all for basically 100 bucks. And then after that, in 2021, there was a fixed price of 1400 and then 9000 I'm guessing this 9000 didn't happen. I don't know, though. Um, but yeah, it just sort of out of nowhere goes from, you know, a hundred basically up to 400 and then a thousand and then 9,000 and then has now come back down quite a bit. But this is the uh, first one to sell, I guess, since earlier this year, this one apparently did 2,400 on eBay. So that's a pretty low sale comparatively, but it is an item where it's like, I don't know how many people are looking for that. Right. But if enough people are, obviously it can go pretty crazy. So Found that really interesting. Was cool to see one of those go from the sense that I've never really looked that up. So I'm interested uh, in basically how it's played out. PSA 2 Aquarella for 1400 uh, We have a messy gold here for 1600 A patch that's not affiliated. To me, I feel like this is a good price. I didn't even look at sales history. But just from the perspective of, you know, how are we pricing this card? Because if you're pricing it for the patch, I mean, the patch is 
it's player worn, but it's not from anything. That's not worth 1600. So really where the 1600 comes from is this is a gold messy. But I feel like there are other great messies that you could get for 1600 bucks that would be better than this if you're just going after the card. So I do still feel like these patches are kind of overrated. Um, at least that's my take on it. Now this is at 9.5, so I guess there's some grading premium. It's jersey number two, so there's that. You know, I guess I didn't take into account both those things, but, eh, you know, eh. Uh, 2016 Kylian Mbappe PSA 10. This is a low price, a super low price. We'll look at the comps, and man, this has been battered. So down 52% over the last year. Uh, a year in which, you know, I guess initially he didn't get the move, so people are down. But then he gets announced to Real Madrid, and basically nothing's happened. Uh, you know, even throughout this announcement, it was flat, and now it's dropped. Despite going to Madrid, gets his first goal, wins a trophy, you know, whatever. Um, but the season's on on the way, and, you know, before, I guess, if we want to look at pre-boom pricing, in 2019, these were going for actually like four to 500 So to me, this isn't a crazy price, 2000 I mean, it's still... It's a pop 217, which is interesting because if you look at like vintage pop 217, it's pretty high. But if we're talking modern day soccer players, one true rookie, you know, I guess that that's definitely debated. A lot of people would say he doesn't have one true rookie, but in my opinion, he does. He has one. It's 2016 Panini Foot, and it's a pop 217 in the highest grade. You know, a numbered out of, I guess it's not numbered, but if you want to theoretically number it in your head, an out of 220 true rookie of the best player, well, may, maybe Holland, you know, do what you want, but one of the best players, it seems pretty cheap to me. Um, am I going out and buying one? Probably not, but actually I, I haven't had one of these in a while. I will probably get an Mbappe, maybe this year. Uh, no promises, PSA 10, I don't know if I really want to go that crazy, but like what's an 8 go for? Yeah, I mean, like an 8, but what, 63? You know, I don't think that's too crazy. Okay, I mean, well, still, back in 2019, though, these were cheap. Um, you know, 30, 40, 50 bucks, maybe, depending on the time. And so 150 is still a good price. But in my opinion, you know, kind of low, kind of low. Beyond that, we have a PSA 3 Pele Aquarella that goes for 2100 About what they do, a little bit over 2000 is typically what I see. Also, early cert, which, you know, take it for what you will. Uh, and then we get up to a row where I did I did lose one. I'm very sad and I don't want to talk about it, but I'm going to have to. We'll get there in a second, though. Uh, we have a 46 Mazzola here. PSA 9 goes for 2300 uh, Looked it up, and I'm a, I'm a little confused, I'll be honest. I'm not the uh, most uh, educated when it comes to Nanina, Italian issues in general. I, that's sort of a definite weak spot of mine. Uh, but this is the highest price paid for a 46 Mazzola. Nanina as far as I can find there was a PSA 5 of the Mazzola from the same Nanina sort of set that you find the Pushkas in and uh, this one went for what was that 2100 I guess same five then this year goes for 750 I, it might not be the same five I'm not saying same sir but same grade all that jazz so yeah I would say you know pretty impressive sale I, I'd be interested in what's sort of going on here why this is a blue shirt rather than a red I, I don't know just sort of interesting to me but super super high grade hard to get nines on these and I don't think I've ever seen a 10 of any of them they might exist but I don't think I've seen one then we have a blue out of 199, 2014 Prism Messi goes for 2520. And uh, taking a look at this, compared to the last 10, you know, kind of low, but at the same time, these are super hard to get 10s in 2014 Prism. Um, the last nine was 2500, basically, yeah, exactly the same price uh, earlier this year. So seemingly doing all right. Last nine before that was on Heritage, but that went for 2000. And uh, if we go back before that, I mean, you know, pretty consistent since about 2022 which is uh, a good sign for the Messi and 2014 Prism space in general. Um, I will say, personally, I love the blues. I think that, you know, the blue is the best thing you're going to get, probably until the green crystal. Like, the red, obviously not as good. The purple out of 99, again, I don't think is as good. So, literally, until you get to the out of 25s, I guess you can you can say the blue Pulsar out of 55 national, if you wanna. And, you know, I could certainly see the case for that in regard to aesthetics. Uh, personally, I much prefer a pack pulled item, but uh, to each their own. Pretty good price, though. And uh, then we get the 58 Titularis Pele. So this one I was super, super sad about. Uh, still am, still hurts. Um, literally, up until the final bids and all that jazz, I, I think that me and one guy won at this from like 11 or 1200 all the way up until basically like 2800. It, I, I kept bidding. I was hoping that it was going to give, but it never did. Now, if you're wondering, 
yes, this is really bad condition. It's an authentic. Uh, has a huge chunk missing, and the back is brutally beaten. So it is a tough, tough condition. But why I wanted this is because that this is the rarest of the titulares in the sense that it does not have an auto and it does not have a star. We'll see one later that has both of those, and uh, this is the most rare of the versions. So I guess if we go and look at... Uh, we don't have any sales comps. Okay, well, never mind. We'll see the other one in a bit. Um, but basically... There's like 30 or 35 titulari sales comps. There was only one that I could find that had the no star, no auto version. And I really like this version because the auto that's on his face isn't even his. It, I think it's Nolton Santos's. So I really like the plain one. Uh, last Authentic went in 2022. So kind of, you know, maybe, maybe a booming time for vintage. Um, but it was much better looking and it went for like 5k. So I felt really good that I could probably get this for like, I was hoping 1 to 2,000 range. And then I was really upset and kept bidding, and eventually I just had to let it go. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm super bummed about it. But uh, congrats to the winner if you're out there. Uh, rub it in my face if you want. That'd be great. Um, beyond that, Masters of the Pitch, Ronaldinho goes for 3600 um, You know, I don't really follow Eminence much. It still feels like a really good price, but I did see someone post in the Vintage Discord down below. Uh, if you want to check it out, it's in the description. Um, but I saw someone post that, like, Topps Museum framed autos of Ronaldinho are going for about the same. And that's always sort of something that I've been a little worried about uh, in regard to... Like, I haven't really bought many of the high-end autos from this set. Uh, one, because the super, super high-end would be the most desirable, and I, I can't really chase those uh, unless I want to go after players I don't really want to collect. Um, but just generally, like, for the players that this is a post-playing career auto of, I do think that there's importance in the set for sure, but I think it's it can be much more diluted, right? Like, if you have a player that's in his career in this set, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, while if you have a player that's outside of his playing career, that is liable to much more competition from other more recent brands. So I think that that's what's sort of happening here. And, uh, you know, 3600 is still a pretty good price in regard to soccer. But uh, beyond that, we have a $3,600 price tag on this Crack 77 Diego Maradona. Pretty good looking one. Got the PWCC IPL sticker, 3600. Pretty good price as well. Uh, ones typically go for like 15 ish maybe two if it's a good looking one. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, really nice looking too, I will say. Um, typically, you want to see some notches along the side. It looks like there's sort of one there. Um, maybe sort of one missing there. It looks really clean, um, at least compared to a lot of the other ones that I've seen. So, good stuff there. Uh, beyond that, we have a BGS 871 BIS. It goes for 4000 We've seen uh, a couple of those so last week. Nearly the same grade, nearly the same price. Um, I'm sort of surprised that the Mega Cracks Ronaldo is, is this low. This feels kind of light. Now, of course, this is BGS, which, you know, make of it what you will. Um, but at least compared to the sticker, it's always held a really high premium, and I think that that's sort of tightening. Um, then we have the titulares here of this 58 Pele. This is the one I was referencing earlier, and sort of why I bid higher than maybe I wanted to on the other one. Uh, this is the second most rare, or I guess the middle most rare. There's the most common, the rarest, and then this one smack dab in the middle. Uh, this one has the auto, but not a uh, not a star right here. So this is the second most common. And, uh, you know, kind of a beaten back and sort of a beaten front. Uh, definitely a one, but, you know, that's a great it got. So I like the colors. I think, I mean, definitely the edges are much better. It, you know, appears much better than the card that I had. It also gets a much higher price. Um, personally, you know, I had sort of planned to go to about, again, you know, 2000 was my high on this one, but I went higher because I was, you know, seeing the price that this one sold at. I had assumed, based on prior comps, this Titularis had sold for 2500 and 3500 So I was like, okay, 3000 ish right? Um, and I sort of assumed, yeah, this is more rare, but it's brutally beaten, so maybe, you know, that equals out. Maybe that's 3000 as well. Um, but yeah, this one went to 4300 which I thought was a super strong price on this Titularis, and I feel like the Titularis in general sort of uh, gained some momentum. I mean, a one going for 4300 is pretty big time. Now, again, this is the second most rare, so there is something there as well. Tupanaba 1960 goes for 4600 I'm not even going to check the comps on that. I know that that one is getting beaten as well. Uh, this one being changed to 1960 it does say 5859 on the PSA, uh, what do they call this, slip? Yeah, that's what it's called. So, yeah, it says 58 59 which sort of enticed a lot of people into thinking that it is a rookie Pele however it is not it's 1960 since the change they've dropped even more they were already dropping as this information slowly made its way about but once the change came into effect it dropped even more 
and uh, yeah, these have had a pretty rough go at it. And that brings us into the top three. So we have a blue Kylian Mbappe going for five grand. Took a peek at that just to see, and um, yeah, I got I got gold in here because I was I was eager and sort of looking. But uh, the last blue was 5,300, 5,800, 5,700, and 5,000 last year. So it's back to the low price that we saw last year, um, but kind of holding on, I guess. Um, you know, if we go back to 2022 seven ish thousand so again still down a good bit from 2022 like 30 percent ish but uh while we have hit a low i always do wonder with these types of cards that seem more investment than collecting when we've ever really hit that floor right just say i, I don't know what the price was pre-boom but based off what i see for other cards of this ilk pre-boom they were basically nothing um, now, maybe the Mbappe had a little steam on it, but basically nothing. So they're still super high compared to where they were. And I do wonder where we catch those collectors, because that's what a lot of this has to deal with, right? Some things that have already bottomed is because those people, those items, those cards have collectors at a price point, right? And I don't know what that price point is for the Mbappe, right? Because you even see people that collect 2017 Topps Chrome not buying the Mbappe. They are consistently just saying like, I'll wait. I'm not going to buy it. I'll wait until he's, you know, fallen down in price. And maybe that's the right approach. It could be wrong. But, you know, I do think that it shows general sentiment that they're not sure that this is going to hold the same way that it held at one point in time. And I think that that's a reasonable question because we haven't seen that kick back up. You know, once you see that kick back up, you can start to feel a little bit better about it all. Um, but we haven't seen it. So 5K, um, you know, still a good price. Again, you know, gets you into the top three on a weekly. Uh, and then beyond it, we have a Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, dual auto out of five from 2022 Chrome. PSA 10 auto, nine card, goes for 9.3 thousand. Comparing backward, uh, this same exact one had actually sold earlier this year on Golden for 15.8. So, you know, cards down 30, 40%. You also lose to the auction house, probably a 40% loss in total, which is a pretty rough look. And um, I would say generally that's probably because this person paid a premium over the 9.9 that went prior and you know that seems reasonable at the time but then a 10.10 goes for 13.2 or 13.4 and then you know your 9.10 is going to sell lower than that so uh you know six point five thousand dollar loss on that minus some fees pretty hefty and um you know to me i always sort of wonder about these cards i say it all the time but like you have to wonder to yourself is a card's peak collectability happening when I'm buying it, right? And may maybe that's the case for a lot of this stuff. I tend not to think so, but I think even more so on the modern products, right? Uh, within the first couple years, for a lot of cards, that's going to be the most desirable time. Now, Messi, Ronaldo, of course, their names will help this live on, but they're probably going to sign dual items for the rest of time, as long as both of them can. And so for that reason, I do think it's interesting. Now, there is a case to be made that if they sign, you know, dual items forever, eventually people will like the first ones. And there's something to that, but I do think that people are also baking that in at these prices, right? 9.3 grand, pretty big time in soccer. And then, uh, you know, even bigger time is this PSA 7 Aquarella. I'm sorry, not Aquarella, because that time I messed that one up. Pretty embarrassing. I was thinking of the Aquarella sale. There was a PSA e Aquarella, I think on Golden. It was on some platform that sold for like 250, 280,000, something like that. So uh, the Gazetta, certainly not in that ballpark. This goes for 10.5, which is still a really good price for what is a cutout from an album cover. Um, but super, super high grade, PSA 7. Want to see if it's the highest price ever? I tend to think it might not be. No, yeah, so there was a 6 before, a 5 even sold higher, a 7 uh, of both of them from SEC sold higher, and uh, even a 4 at one point, goodness. So yeah, uh, a 7 looking like a steal here, but at the same time, uh, probably, you know, probably fair pricing, I guess, at this point in time. Um, this has sort of lost a lot of luster in general, and I sort of uh, agree in the sense that I wouldn't even consider it a Pele rookie. I mean, it's a Pele item, but uh, to call it like a rookie card is pretty disingenuous, uh, in my opinion. But uh, if we look beyond this, I guess the highest price sold this year was a PSA 5 for 3800 So, you know, uh, comparatively in terms of uh, multipliers and all that, that kind of makes sense. But yeah, that ends it for this week. And looking at next week, we'll see what we got. So I don't think I've taken a peek yet. Always sort of, uh, at least most of the time, it, it's sort of just a new look for me. Uh, another titularis Pele just to rub it in. So this is a PSA 2 at 3100 already. Uh, we have a PSA 8 Mega Cracks, a PSA 2 Cruyff of the Palarex. Uh, beyond that, a couple cool one-of-ones here. Messi Ronaldo, 62 Pele, Bagioli Pele, also the R9 Rookie signed. 
PSA 3, very off center, crack Maradona. Pretty nice looking Pushkas there. Hey, we got a gold Christian Pulisic, a gold Ronaldo, uh, red Vinny, tie dye Messi. A lot, of, a lot of cool modern numbers in there. We have a white prism Messi, tie dye here of CR7. There we go. We got a messy rookie for the people that are dying for it. A nice PSA 3 stomp us. Pretty good week. Next week, I'd say we got a green. Looking forward to it. Should be a good time, and uh, hopefully you're excited as well. But that's going to be it for us. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do make sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate it greatly. If you want to see more videos like this as soon as we go live, make sure to subscribe. And would love to hear your thoughts down below. Anything you thought sold high, low, or maybe something you snagged, let me know. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.